Hello friends, welcome to Coaching. Today we will check how to scaffolding entity framework in ASP.NET Core project. Using this, we do not require to create ADMX file for the database first approach. For this, I have already ASP.NET Core MVC application project. And also, I have an employee DB database and inside that employee table. For the scaffolding entity framework, we need to install some NuGet packages inside this project. First, we will complete NuGet package installation. Entity framework. First package is required Microsoft Entity Framework Code. Then we required Microsoft Entity Framework Core Design. Then we required Microsoft Entity Framework Core SQL Server. Then we required a Microsoft Entity Framework Tools. Now you can check here all the packages installed properly or not. So here you can see Microsoft Entity Framework Core, Framework Core dot Design, Framework Core dot SQL Server, and Framework Core dot Tools. All are installed properly. For the scaffolding entity framework, we require to execute this command inside the package manager console. Before executing this command, we will understood what what the things are required for this command. So first is this is the command name scaffold db context. Then this is the connection string we need to mention here. Then we need to mention here nuget package name. Then we need to mention output directory where we need to create db context file. Now we will execute this command in the package manager console. Now you can check here in the model folder so auto created employee db context and employee model you can check here as per the table our class is created also db context file is created so using this uh, class we can directly access our database we will go in the home controller now we will write 
couple line of code for insert record into database so i already have a, a code so i pasted here so here is i taken first employee employee class object and set all the employee related properties then i created employee db context file class object and inserted employee object data into employee table and save changes now we will run this a method and check it's able to insert data into our database using this scaffolding db context and employee class first i will show you the uh, database it's not available any data into this table you can see here i execute this query but here is not available any data in this table now we will execute our project now i will execute this method you can see here i am debugging this save changes now we will check into database i am clicking on this execute button here you can see data is inserted into the table so using scaffolding entity framework we can connect easily to the database and no required edmx file for database first approach thank you for watching this video do like share and subscribe